Hey guys, Black Ninja Sun Ninja 97 here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn on the power in Zetsubo no Shima because it is very complicated and I want to help you guys out. So the first thing that you need to do is get a bucket. This will either be in the spawn room or one of the two buildings. I found it in the building here because I'm lucky and couldn't find the spawn. But once you get that, you want to fill it up with some Element 115 water. This is located behind, I believe, the uh, one building where the webs are, which is like normally where the perk spawns. That is like you know, like double tap or something. So basically, you want to go to that building, and behind it will be this giant pool of blue 115 water that you have to stand in and hold X or square on. So that way, you can fill up the bucket. It'll be right here. So you just go into it and hold X or square or whatever it is on PC, because I am not a PC player, so I don't know that. Sorry. Uh, but you basically just fill it up with water, and then you want to go upstairs into this building, and then go put the water in here, and this will activate one power source. Now you need to do that to the other building as well. And once you activate both buildings you will be able to open up the bunker now you have to make sure that you do this pretty quick otherwise the bunker lights uh, one of them will either go off or both of them will go off and you can't get in unless both of them are on so once they're both on you open up the bunker now a whole bunch of zombies are gonna spawn in the moment that you end up doing this they're gonna be trying to become thrasher so you want to make sure that you kill them I don't know where this thrasher came from but I thought I killed the uh, zombies that were gonna be one it looks like one just spawned already but um you want to avoid um, having a thrasher because th they're pretty annoying we all don't like thrashers but basically, after you end up killing all those zombies in the bunker, what you want to do is go to the power room. The power room is going to be on this side. It's going to be on the left side of, like, you know, like that room full of doors. Then you want to swim down under here where this water is. And you want to cut the webs here. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to lock you inside. And you're going to have to fend off a little bit of zombies. Now, you cannot get out of here until you kill the zombies. So, I recommend going in with a decent gun. Because in order to get the power on you have to do all this complicated stuff and by that like by that you have to like you know buy a whole bunch of expensive doors so you probably won't have enough for a good gun so I'll just buy like a CUDA or something because this is pretty reliable I almost died because I had uh, only quick revive and you can't get juggernaut unless you have the power on so unless you have a perkaholic you'll never have jug um, when you're trying to do this step but basically once you eliminate all these zombies underneath here you will be able to turn on the actual power switch this is probably the most complicated out of all the steps so basically, once you shoot the zombies, you will be good to go, and I recommend going up for air because you can also drown. But once you do that, all you go, uh, my bad, all you do is you go upstairs, and then you activate the power. But um, anyways, guys, this is going to be today's video. If you guys like the video, please punch that like button in the face because it means a lot to me, and it really helps out my channel. And also subscribe if you're new in here because I really appreciate it. I want you guys to open another video. And anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!